What's up guys, my name's Curtis and welcome to 5 Minute Finance, where I take personal finance topics and explain them to you in 5 minutes or less. It seems like everyone that I talk to has their own opinions on what is smart when it comes to financial decisions. And although I often get great advice from people who have different viewpoints from mine, it's important for me to note that some people will give you advice that isn't really in your best interest, but their best interest. And I have a few examples to share with you guys. But before I dive into those examples, if you guys just watched the first 60 seconds of this video, I hope this one thing sticks with you. When someone is giving you advice, ask yourself how much of the advice that they are giving you is tied directly to that person's compensation. This oftentimes allows you to filter out any nonsense that they might be pitching you. I know that might sound weird because on this channel I give financial advice, but at the end of the day, you can choose to take it or leave it. Also, I get no monetary gain from giving out this advice. I just truly like helping people in terms of their personal finances. Now, let's look at some examples of where you might wanna be careful when receiving financial advice. And starting off is my absolute favorite, which is car salespeople or consumer goods salespeople. Aside from a select few companies, almost everyone that works in sales is commission-based. And although I don't hate commission jobs, and there's a lot of great ones out there, you do need to be careful when working with people who are paid based on commission. These people are a perfect example of the advice that they might be giving you is tied directly to their income. Car salesmen are notoriously slimy, and they will absolutely try their best to upsell you into a higher trim or a completely different vehicle for only $50 more a month, but in the end, you really don't need it. Even some consumer electronics salespeople will try to upsell you into the, for example, way more expensive TV, even though it's only slightly better and, again, probably not something that you truly need to upgrade. Again, I don't think salespeople are inherently bad. You just need to be careful when dealing with these people. And before you go in and talk to them, know exactly what you want and don't let them convince you you need more than you truly do. Another example is when it comes to choosing a financial advisor. Now, by far the number one criteria you should look for when choosing a financial advisor is whether or not they follow a fiduciary standard. This just means that they are legally required to act in your best interest. It's getting more and more rare that financial advisors and financial planners don't follow the fiduciary standard, but again, just double check right up front so you don't get caught dealing with someone who's trying to take advantage of you. A lot of times advisors get paid for every transaction they make, and you don't wanna get caught with one who's gonna make a bunch of transactions so they can get a bunch of commission when realistically it's not best for you. Another note with financial advisors is this. If you sit down and have a meeting with one and you leave that meeting having no idea what anything you talked about meant, find a new advisor. Good financial advisors should first and foremost be very good teachers. At the end of the day, they work for you, you don't work for them, and they should be able to explain to you exactly what they're doing with your money and why. If they can't explain what their plan is for you in terms that you can understand, it's impossible to know if they're trying to take advantage of you or not. Lastly, and this is less of an issue than the first two, but just be careful who you choose as a real estate agent when you're buying or selling properties. From a selling standpoint, you absolutely want a real estate agent who is gonna get the most value out of your property and sell it for the highest amount. In that situation, the more money your agent makes, the more money you make. So you really do want your agent to make a lot of money on that transaction. But when buying a home, make sure your agent has your best interests in mind and they aren't trying to show you houses that are slightly above or even way above your price point. If your agent is continually showing you homes outside of your budget, Try to find a new agent because there's a good chance they're just trying to sell you a more expensive home so that they can get a larger commission check. I wanna make sure you guys know that in a lot of cases, people who give you financial advice truly do care about your best interests. But I think it's important for everyone to be aware that in some situations, the advice that you're receiving is directly tied to the person giving you the advice's compensation. As always, watch out for people who are trying to take financial advantage of you and only take financial advice from people who you trust and who are also successful with money. If you guys enjoyed this video, it would really help me out if you gave it a thumbs up, and if you're new around here and want to see more personal finance videos in the future, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell.